Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson, and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com. And today's attraction tips video is my girlfriend lost feelings for me. So many of us guys have gone through this where everything seems to be going fine, and then one day, out of the blue, our girlfriend, or maybe even our wife, hits us with this, I've lost feelings for you. Now, sometimes we see it coming, like over a long period of time, we could kind of tell she's cooling off, but other times it totally catches us off guard. And actually, most of the time, from the guys I've spoken to, it totally catches most guys off guard. And it's actually kind of crazy because it shouldn't catch us off guard because, you know, most of the times women try to communicate these things to us and if we were really paying attention and really listening, we would we would know what's coming and we would try to, you know, adjust our approach so we could get things back to normal. But usually we're not listening, not really listening, or we just kind of write off what she's trying to communicate to us. Is she's just being moody and we just kind of sweep it under the rug. And then all of a sudden, like I said, out of the blue, she hits us with this and we're left scrambling, scrambling, trying to pick up the pieces and, you know, make things right again. And sadly, more often than not, by the time she has finally gotten to this point, it's too late. I mean, she's too far gone and there's not a lot we could do about it. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why girls lose feelings for guys. Because the truth is, if your game was tight, she wouldn't be losing feelings for you. So if you're still with your girl and you could kind of feel her slipping away and hopefully what I explained to you today could help you get things back to normal. And if you have already lost your girl, perhaps you could right those wrongs and get things turned back around for you and get her back. But before I get started, I just wanted to say that if you find this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or to share it with your friends and family if you think they may find it helpful. And also, please subscribe at the subscribe button down below and hit that little bell so you're updated when my new videos come out as I'm going to be regularly uploading new videos and try to explain how all this stuff works so you guys don't run into these problems in the future. And if you need any help, like... With this topic, if you're losing, if your girl is losing feelings, I do email coaching. So all you would have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the coaching tab, and I do both emergency coaching and I do monthly coaching where, where I'll, I will work with you ongoing throughout the month and try to get things, you know, turned around or back to normal for you. So you would just select the option that works best for you. And if you have any questions about this topic or really anything that's going on with your dating and relationship life, um, feel free to send me a message. You could again, go over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab and just shoot me a message or feel free to leave your, your questions in the comments below. Now onto the video. Now, if your girl says that she's losing feelings for you or she doesn't feel the same anymore, this simply means that she has lost or is losing attraction for you. And in a nutshell, this basically means that the spark is gone or it's starting to fizzle out. And the thing is, women, this takes, this takes some time for this to happen. It doesn't happen overnight because, you know, women fall in love slowly over time, which means that they also fall out of love slowly over time. So if she's at this point, this means this has been going on for quite a while and she's at the end of her rope and she has lost hope that things are going to be changing at all or anytime soon. And guys always say that, well, she could have said something a long time ago before things got this bad. But the thing is, they usually do. We just weren't listening. I mean, how many times have you heard women say, well, men never listen? Well, this is what they mean. We hear what they're saying, but we're not really listening. We're not absorbing what they're trying to communicate to us. And I've been guilty of this before, too, many times. But once I started to learn this stuff, you know, I know 
I now know what to look for and what to listen for to know that, you know, she's trying to communicate something to me. Things aren't going right, and I need to step up my game a little bit to get things back to normal. Now, women are much more subtle and indirect about the way they communicate. They're not like us where we just say it and get to the point. I mean, I don't know how many times when I've been dealing with my girl and I think, just say it. But this is how women communicate. There's really not a lot you could do about it. So they're, like I said, they're much more subtle and indirect. So you really have to listen and pay attention to what they're trying to communicate. I mean, as an example, if... Your girl is not really showing you affection anymore. She's not calling you all those cute little pet names like sweetie or honey, or she kind of like winces away if you try to touch her, or she's not really touching you, or maybe she's not having sex with you. These are all signs that something is wrong and she's cooling off and emotionally she's starting to shut down. Now, obviously, if this happens you know, maybe for a couple days in a row and it goes right back. This isn't something long-term. It still means you're messing up somewhere, but this isn't a long-term thing. But if you haven't been having sex with your girl and you haven't been affectionate with her for, you know, a long period of time, a couple weeks, a couple months, a couple years, I mean, obviously there's something wrong there and you need to step up your game here. Now, as far as girls lose, losing feelings for you, I mean, this could be for several reasons. And in this video, I'm not going to cover like cases of abuse or infidelity because, of course, she's going to lose feelings for you if this is what's going on in your relationship. So if you are abusing her, whether it be physically, emotionally, uh, mentally, verbally, whatever the case may be, or if you've been cheating on her, you can't be surprised that, you know, she is packing her bags. I'm not trying to tell you how you should be handling your relationship, but if this is what you're doing, you shouldn't be surprised one bit. Now, there's really two big reasons why women will start to lose feelings for you. And strangely, they're like polar opposites. Now, one is being too needy or too clingy. And the other big reason is being too cold or too complacent. Now, when you're being too needy, this could be anything like being extra nice to her in hopes that she'll like you more or you will get something in return. Like you do extra nice things for her and put up with things that you shouldn't be putting up with in hoping that in return you will get love and affection or sex or something along those lines. This could also mean that you are smothering her with love and affection which is just it's just too much for her and the other thing is you could be too controlling with her and angrily controlling her you know trying to you know keep her from going out with her friends or you know putting rules on the relationship on what she can and can't do and this is another sign of needy behavior now, a lot of guys think this controlling behavior is kind of macho and masculine, and it really is neediness. You could look at it this way. Anytime that you need her to behave a certain way so you feel better about yourself, that's neediness. And when, you, when you're behaving this way, women are starting to feel like they're losing their freedom, and no one likes to be treated like that. And she's just going to start putting walls up and putting her guard up, just anything to get away from you. But on the other hand, when you are being extra nice and just smothering her with love and affection, this actually repulses women and it just sends them running for the hills. And because what it communicates is that you lack confidence and you don't feel that you have a high enough value for her to want to stick around with you. So you lay it on extra thick in hopes that she will like you more and want to stay with you. And this is really a terrible way to go because, like I said, it communicates lack of confidence and lack of value. And women love confident, high-value men. Now, I've actually have done a couple of videos on needy men, and I highly recommend you check them out if you haven't yet. 
Now, I really haven't tackled the, the clinging behavior yet, but it's really two sides of the same coin. Then on the other end of the needy clinging behavior is cold and complacent men. Now, when guys behave this way, women start to think that the guy doesn't love or care about them. So naturally, they're going to start shutting down emotionally. And see, the guys that behave this way, they start off the courtship in full throttle. And this is when the girl falls in love with them. But a lot of these guys, they think that once they get the girl that, you know, she's not going anywhere and it's for life and they could just kick back and just go about their life and not really have to do anything. Now, that may work in the movies or in fairy tales, but the truth is you have to keep things going constantly because otherwise, like I said, she's going to start thinking that you don't care about her. Now, this complacent behavior usually happens in long-term relationships and marriages, which kind of makes sense because you've been together for a long time and the guy starts thinking that, well, she's not really going anywhere, so I really don't have to do much anymore. But the truth is one of the biggest reasons women leave marriages and relationships is because the man isn't fully present. In other words, he's become complacent. He's pretty much have checked out of the relationship. Now on the other side of that same coin is men that behave very cold towards their women. You're, they're not really showing them any love or attention and they're often quite angry. And this is usually a direct result of the guy who has a unsatisfying, unfulfilled life and he's taking it all out on his woman. Now all of these behaviors are attraction killers. Women are most attracted to guys that are loving and charming and fun, but at the same time, they also have to be emotionally strong, confident, and centered. I mean, it's really a fine line. You know, somewhere down the middle there is where you want to be, but it's different for every woman and every relationship. So you, you have to kind of feel it out for your own relationship, you know, try some things, see how they work out, if she isn't responding positively, then you try something else. If she starts responding negatively, then you try something else until you find that sweet spot where she's happy and showing you love and affection, giving you kisses, smiling all the time. I mean, this is ultimately where you want her to be. Really, the only other reason why women fall out of love with men is just because you're not compatible. And this just basically means your goals and your values aren't lined up. And a lot of relationships, these start off with your goals and values lined up. But over time, over the years, you know, you, you, you two start growing apart and you kind of go, go your separate ways. And unfortunately, there's not a whole heck of a lot you could do about that if it gets to that point. So you just have to keep moving forward and find someone who who does have the same goals and values as you do. So if your girl has lost feelings or she's told you that, you know, she just doesn't feel the same anymore, or you can feel her slipping away, you should head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the coaching tab and select the option that works best for you. And we can work together to try to get this turned around for you. I mean, there's no guarantees because we're dealing with emotions here and emotions are unpredictable but I will give you the best possible option to get this turned around for you. And if it doesn't work with this girl that is slipping away or is already gone, it will help you with the next girl. So that's really it for this video. I really appreciate those of you who have watched this video all the way to the end. It really helps me out. And I will catch you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.